Bert Rosito, authorized van stall technician uh, here at Whitewaters Outfitters in Hampton Bays. We are one of the few uh, warranty centers for a van stall. How do you go about um, getting your reel to an authorized van stall center? You download this uh, van stall product return form. You go on the van stall website and you download it and you fill it out. All your information goes right here. Your name, your address, your phone number, and if you have an email, very important also. And then you put the model of your reel and the serial number, and if there's any issues on what you want me to uh, be at attention to me, you just write it in there. Write me a little note if you have a particular issue. Um, and, how to, and, and okay, your, your reel gets to me, and uh, the process is as follows. You know, I, I, I read, you know, your issue on here, uh, you want it serviced, put an X in the box. Are there any issues? Yes. Spool was stuck on shaft. That's actually a warranty issue. It's the roll pin. Some of the older models have a roll pin going through the shaft that aren't stainless steel. And Van Stoll has improved on that. Now we have stainless steel roll pins going through the shaft. That is a warranty item. So what do I do? I press that pin out and put the stainless steel one in and you won't have an issue anymore of splitting or rusting or this and that. Um, and as I go through it, I, can, I will call you, you know, if it, if it starts to add up a little bit, you know, if I find other issues, I'll give you a call, let you know what's going on with your reel. It's like the van, when I get your van stall, this is my patient, you know. I treat it like as if it was mine, it's my baby. And, uh, you know, this is an extension of who you are on the rocks, on the beach, whatever. You know, you, we're going fishing. This is your weapon. And this van stall has got to be working top notch, top to bottom. When I get it, I start at the drag knob. Take it off, I look inside see if there's any sand, any debris, such. I take your spool off, I look at the top, I look at your, uh, your spool seal and your retainer. See if there's any scratches in your retainer. See if your seal, your OSPR3, if there's any cuts in it, you know. You know, the beach, fishing on the surf, is a very abrasive environment, you know. Um, and then, I look here. Any play in the shaft? You know, if there's any play, it could be maybe your traverse guide is loose. Or most commonly, you know, as years go by, you know, a, a while goes by, and, uh, you know, hard fishing and all, your body bushing, will tend to get worn on the type of fishing that you do. Heavy plugs, heavy surf, heavy current, heavy bucktails, throwing lead, working up the, the bottom and current, you know, jigging, uh, will tend to give a little wear to your body bushing and you will feel a little bit of play going like this. But the correct way to test if you have any play is you grab your flyer very firmly and you go like this, and you, you know, if there's a little tick, 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 body bushing. Um, and then I'll proceed to uh, go on, test your knob bushings. If there's play going like this, warm bushings. Again, a while goes through, goes by, a couple of years until your knob bushings are worn or your bolt. You know, so it's, it's a wear item. It's a wear and tear item in the reel. Then with your van stall wrench, this the wrench fits a 200 to 300 series 
and the one in the 150. Crack it open, counterclockwise, this is a, a left-handed cranked fan stall. Open it up. Take a look. If we see any signs of intrusion as such, okay, again, years go by, hard fishing, wear and tear, might get some intrusion. Where would this intrusion be coming from? Maybe your main seal, if you've been skitching, a lot of centrifugal force going through the water retrieving in the water, in the waves. And now, uh, here we go. We wanna take the nut off from the, from the bottom of the traverse guide. nitrite coated this is the gold it's not brass this is nitrite coated and this is the pin that we were talking about like this product return form says he had his uh, spool was stuck on his shaft and I know why that is because on the older models this pin right here in some runs wasn't uh, stainless steel now all the van stall reels have a stainless steel roll pin inside Take your traverse guide off, stainless steel washer, lock washer. This is the traverse guide. You might have an older van stall. These are the new style of traverse guides. Uh, these are rock solid. And we'll proceed to take the, the flyer off. Got four stainless steel hex screws there's your flyer what do we check for your lime roller is turning freely any grooves grooves happen from your braid picking up sand salt crystals from the surf You'll find a groove here or there. Most of the time you don't. And again, free flowing. Um, check your, uh, I check uh, the screw here and the counterweight and the pin. No signs of anything in there. It's pretty clean. Clean this area, the surface here. Make sure there's no sand, debris, there is. This customer was uh, definitely a surf guy. Quite a bit of sand in there. It's your lock ring. And there's your transmission. It's your sleeve guide, your pinion, your main bearing, seal carrier, O-ring, and your main seal is in there. This is where you this is where you find your your uh, your quad seal. Especially the guys that want to do their own self-service. You know. That's your quad seal. It's right in there. It's a little groove. And this is the, the inside of your, your van stall. And that's your body bushing. That's what I was talking about before. Like this guy, you know, good fisherman, but uh, 
I probably serviced this reel in the past, probably last season. You know, you want to get your, 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 your van stall serviced every season. I have guys that fish really hard, you know, um, they'll give me their reel two to three times in a season. You know, but those, those are the guys that swim out to a rock quarter mile away or whatever. But, uh, you know, and these are the things, this is part of the service. Is this quad seal gets changed? The O-ring on the side cover. And your cup seal underneath the, your handle hub. There it is. These are the things that you gotta go through doing your service. And I checked the bearing. This guy's bearing is fine. There's no signs of intrusion. There's no signs of uh, sand. He uh, rinsed it properly. You know, there's no signs of there's no signs of sand in there. There's no crunching. It's perfect. It's just uh, this, this this particular reel is just your basic service then. You know, I'm gonna change his uh, covers O-ring, his cup seal, oil seal, and his quad seal. Everything else looks fine. Um, another thing I go through is I check your uh, your drag stack. So the light tap with your wrench. There's a lock ring right there. This is the spool hub. No signs of intrusion. No saw crystals. Good shape. OSPR3. That's your top oil seal on your spool. This is your spool hub retainer. This is your spool hub. This is your top bearing, a ceramic coated. And this is your drag stack, your chamfered washer, your fiber washer, octagon stainless steel washer, and in the center is a round slotted washer. And this guy's uh, drag stack seems perfect. Again, I serviced it last season and uh, his drag stack is perfect. Uh, and the bottom bearing, also OSPR3, the oil seal. This is the one you really wanna check, or that I check. Uh, there's no cuts in it from sand. There are some sand particles. Give it a rinse. Wipe it off. And, and uh, I just proceed to put it all back together. You know? Looks like he put on brand new line for me. Spooled perfectly. Uh, this is the process that, you know, warranty center, van stall technician will go through very thoroughly on your on your van stall. Um, go back to your product return form. All your information is put on there perfectly. Uh, wrap it up, I give you a phone call. I'll let you know how much it's gonna be. And uh, ship it right back to you. 
and a turnaround time is pretty quick, at least here at Whitewater. Um, I'm sure all the other centers are just as prompt. Um, and uh, if there are any issues, you can call me at any time. You know, ask for Bert. Um, and we'll go through your, your issue if there's any issue.